An important change introduced in Sitecore 6.3 is the event queue. The event queue allows events on one server in a cluster to be triggered on the other servers in the cluster. This brief video illustrates how the event queue makes this possible. When a content author changes an item, a request is sent to a specific CM server. The CM server receives and processes the request. This results in the saved item event being triggered. An event handler for the saved item event creates an instance of a remote event. This remote event is passed to the event queue, which records the remote event, along with the name of the server that created the event. Each Sitecore server has a process that periodically checks the event queue to see if any events are available. The event queue monitor searches for events that meet two conditions. First, the event cannot have been created by the current server. Second, the event must be new, meaning the event has been created since the last time the event queue monitor searched for events. If the event queue monitor does not find any events, the monitor's work is done until the next time it searches for events. This prevents the server that handled the local event from handling the corresponding remote event. If the event queue monitor finds events, the monitor triggers the events retrieved from the event queue. These events are remote events. A remote event enables the specific server to perform tasks that have not yet been performed, such as clearing the appropriate cache on the server, without performing tasks that have already been performed, such as updating the database. This concludes the video. Thank you for watching.